What's up, everybody? It's your favorite explore, explore, repair, repair. It's favorite nerd, and today we are looking at the Make Toys Sky Warp, which they call Sky Crow, which is fine, title wise, anyway, I suppose. Real quick, I got this from East Coast Toys. I have the link in the bio. They're another kind of less well known toy company that'll treat you right. Tell them Scully sent you. They sent me a little patch with each one of my purchases, which is nice. I'm gonna add it to my, my little area up here where I keep a lot of that sort of stuff, so that's cool. And they also sent me a sweet little sticker sheet, so that was nice of them as well, and they didn't have to do that. So yeah, check them out, tell them Scully sent you. Anyway, we're gonna look at this and Thundercracker separately. I thought about doing them together because it kind of makes sense, but I figured, oh well, I'll do the Thundercracker in five minutes or less, and we'll kind of take our time with this one. But he does come with some accessories. Let's take a look. So it does obviously come with the null rays. They come with this little armature here that, that you can use for articulation and so forth. Nice sculpt work, purple plastic, no paint. And they plug into the side of his arm and then you can use your hinge to manipulate it if you need to to get it out of the way for a pose or a picture or what need, or you know whatever you need. And of course they can plug in underneath of the jet mode. It comes with two swap out pieces that you can use. You can just remove this and add that in. That's pretty cool. It comes with two extra faces, like a oh no face and uh, look look at that, check that out face. And the nice thing about this is if you think the Starscream face is too dark, you could theoretically swap out the Starscream face with this, or you could paint this one and try it out. If you're getting the Thundercracker as well, you could try both, but it gives you a little bit of options in terms of customizing if you would like to lighten up that Starscream face, because it was a tad dark. And it comes with the swap out hand for their, was it Tyrant? Their Megatron, so that you can have him kind of choking the life out of this guy. Lastly, he comes with two hands, uh, swap out hands that are purple. He has two black ones installed on him uh, at the time that you get it, but then you can get the two purple ones on if, if you would prefer that. As for jet mode, it's pretty cool. It has the landing gear, just like we saw with Starscream, so you can just flip those in if you don't care for them on all three sides. My back legs on this one and my Thundercracker are, are having a hard time staying together. I don't know if anybody else is having that issue. Maybe it's a problem that, I, that I'm that i doing. Maybe it's something wrong that I'm doing. But, I mean, it looks good. I, I love the jet mode for the Starscream. And, I mean, when you look at it from certain angles, it just really evokes kind of that, that cartoon image, I feel like, that we grew up with, you know, of these characters. So, I, I, I mean, I think it's pretty much spot on. There's a lot of things, like uh, just like little stuff like that, the way that looks and stuff. It's just, it really works for me on, on a lot of levels. The color's fairly... Um, are uniformed on this so they, they have a little bit of a luxury with the black that it kind of works it lends itself well to that but yeah no issues size comparison wise it's pretty much the same as the Hasbro one this is the Hasbro one it's not the Takara one I have the Takara one out there but it's pretty much the same maybe this one's a bit longer but it, it's it pretty much works the same way that we saw with Starscream definitely more cartoon accurate looking the colors are more vibrant and such than the this is like the Walmart one or whatever but I always did dig this like kind of very like sculpt sculpty aesthetic to this with all the line work and stuff but this one does look more tune accurate and the colors do pop a lot more so we'll go from jet to robot since we have robot to jet cover in the star screen video and the first thing you want to do is untab your wings here from both the side and the back and then flip them kind of up and out of the way slide your side wings forward on both sides lift up your butt flap and split your legs Pop these covers here on the back, and then combine or wars your legs down. Same for the other side. Rotate these small pieces out on the foot 90 degrees on both sides, and rotate your thruster 180 degrees on both sides. Fold your rear wings in and collapse. Same for this side. And as you do so, you wanna make sure that this tab latches on to this little, or the port latches onto that little spot in the back of the knee. That'll make sure that it, everything lines up properly. Collapse your side wings. Extend your foot on a double hinge. This one's a little tight. Take the back of your wing, spin the bottom part to the back, and then rotate it 180 degrees and flip down these two flaps. Then slide it down on this bar that you'll notice towards the top and plug it in to the back. Same for the other side. Spin this to the back, spin it around 180, rotate your wing flaps to the inside, slide down here on this slider, 
plug it in to the back to secure it. Untab the crotch from the arms and move it down. Open up your chest pieces, fold your arms to the outside and slide them up. Flip down your hands, pull down the arms. Times two. Extend your side skirts out and down on both sides. Collapse your waist. Rotate these two pieces to the outside. Flip the bottom piece out and then the top piece down. Bottom piece out, top piece down. You can also at this point push on these two flaps on the outside to open that up. And flip your chest pieces down and lock everything back in. Now everybody's favorite part, bring this piece out, spin it 180. Then bring this piece down and spin it 180. Those are the two 180 spins and it's best to get them out of the way as soon as possible to help keep yourself oriented. Cockpit one, cockpit two. Then you wanna break the connection on these two side pieces here and then on the opposite side so you can lift that whole piece up. Then you kinda wanna clean this up the best you can, lay this against this piece, make sure the landing gear is collapsed, take your canopy, move the one hinge in and the other hinge up so that it all sits tightly against his back. Take this piece and slide it forward, accordion this cockpit up, down, back up, and tab in. Then you can collapse the chest piece down and sit the other piece along his back. This last bit is probably easier to have the waist extended. Maybe I shouldn't have told you to do that so soon. But bring these around and plug them into the side of the canopy on both sides. And lastly, you can collapse this back down. I'll clean them up, we'll take a look at them. All right, so let's talk about them. Not a lot of paint, there is some. We'll talk about that first. We have silver paint on the chest and on the pelvis, it looks great. We have purple and white paint on the wings. We have, this is all plastic. This is pr possibly purple paint down here. This might also be plastic. I think it's plastic, but it's hard to tell. And then we have some silver paint on the feet. Oh, speaking of which, my guy struck again recently. Uh, let me read you this email. Stop saying that feet in deep voice, you idiot. I really hated you say that, you idiot, stupid fools. That gentleman is a real treat. So let's talk about, oh, we have some gray face uh, paint on there as well. I, I, there is something still off about the face sculpt to me. I'll see if I can't get you in there real quick. I, I don't know if the face is too small, the eyes are too big, but there's something about it. Now, a lot of people have complained that the head is too small. I kind of like that. I, I think it looks cool. It's very like Japanese mech, and I don't know. It's I dig it. It's a subjective thing. If you don't dig it, uh, nothing's going to change on this one for you. So, head is on a ball peg, limited up. You do get a good bit down, and then you get the side to side. Confused dog look too, if you so prefer. You have a waist swivel in there, that works fine. And then you have the ab crunch as well on this series of hinges, which you can get to extreme uh, kind of poses if you, if you prefer. We have a universal joint for the shoulder, up to there, forward, no problem, out to the side, all works fairly well. The wings are articulated out, so that works nicely. We have a bicep swivel. We have a double hinged elbow that gets you almost the full run. We have a wrist swivel. We have fingers on a base pin knuckle, including the index finger, which is individually articulated and super tight. But uh, that has an additional hinge in it as well, so you can have him pointing, although it does have that typewriter finger, so it's always going to look a little weird. Uh, we have this gold. Uh, it's like a translucent over top of gold paint, too, which does look good. I will say on this one, the pelvis piece is a little loose. And it's not terrible, but it tends to slide up on me while I'm manipulating the figure. Nothing I can't work around, so to speak. All right, so we have these flaps here. They get out of your way on both. And then we have a universal joint for the hip, which is on a soft ratchet that gets you all the way up to there, back to there for the full Monty all the way out for the full Van Dam on tension. And then we have a thigh swivel built into the bottom of the universal. Single hinge knee that gets you 90 degrees, let's say, it's close enough. And then we have an ankle tilt. It's basically a foot tilt, but it works the same. And then if you, you can manipulate this on the double hinge to kind of get it at any angle you want. So that's pretty much flawless. The ratchet is a little tight, but it has to support the weight of the figure and there is die cast and stuff 
in the frame of the figure so it's an acceptable loss to me and then we have the ankle rocker at an extreme level which works great still works great i thought it worked great on howling meteor and nothing has changed in that regard and then from the back um you know i think the the black design mine came unplugged here a little bit but uh actually it's a double hinge knee look at that or would you look at that would you just look at it and then we have a i think the black hides a lot of the you know the waffles you know to, to quote dust on enter the realm the waffle look like the hollow cut out the i think it looks it works a lot better on the black than it does the the kind of beige of star screen like the light gray and there it is next to the takara which you know it's one of those things it's the takara one i mean i spent good money on that but it just it's an antiquated mold it just doesn't hold up the same way this make toys one really blows it out of the water standing side by side i mean it's painful almost to look at and i'll show a lot more size comparisons with the thundercracker review but yeah it's pretty much what you would expect it's just more of the same looks great all of the pros are still there some of the cons are still there except my hip flap that i had that was always popping out with the starscream one is definitely secured here some of the engineering can get a little frustrating with the cockpit bits and that c clip can come on undone and all that but i'd rather have the c clip come undone than something break you know so it's an acceptable loss for me i know they're gonna do all of the cone heads and stuff and maybe some of the rainmakers and all that kind of stuff so you know i would just advise them not to fall into that Takara trap. You know, stay on top of the mold. Make sure that it holds up over the time and the multiple productions. All the positives still hold up. The sculpt is great. The paint application is clean and sharp. The articulation works pretty much across the board. Has a strong presence. Has some pretty interesting engineering. Couple frustrating parts like we mentioned, but for the most part, everything pretty much moves the way you'd expect it to. At a price, it's almost half of what the Takara once cost. It's a strong recommend for me. Thanks again to East Coast Toys and thank you for listening. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Take care.